You need a website, maybe for yourself or for your clients. Let's actually use AI to build that website. We're going to use ZipWP in this video. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not getting some affiliate commission. But actually, this AI builder was the only AI builder that I could personally find that allowed me to use it for free and then also port it over to any web host that I want. So we'll design our website in ZipWP. And of course, then we need to make it available to the rest of the world. So we need a host and we're going to use Cloudways in this video. They are today's sponsor. I had a great time using Cloudways. They have some really powerful servers for WordPress. But before we get there, let's actually try designing our website here in ZipWP. So I'm gonna log in here. I already created an account. And then here in the dashboard, we essentially get two sites for free. And actually let's click here in the sidebar on build site with AI. Let's see what we get. All right, so then here I can specify some information. So let's say, uh, I have a client and it's Bob and Bob has a burger restaurant and they need a website, right? So I quickly want to build a website for them. Um, let's pick restaurant here. We can pick the language. Right, so here we have a description and I find actually that you do want to be very specific. The AI results will mostly differ based on the description that you give here. The more detailed you can be typically, the better the results are going to be. So I will actually just generate some text here with AI. So you can use that to quickly scaffold a uh, description and then fine tune it based on your needs. Uh, this looks good to me. So let's continue. All right. So how do we get in touch? Well, Let's say there is Bob's number 55, Houston, Texas. We can add an email if we want, a phone number. I will actually leave most of this blank. All right, so then here we can pick some images. So they, they seem to be getting the images from pexels.com. Um, we can also upload our own images, even create them with AI. Although some of the AI images, I think still look a bit too uh, fake, but they're getting pretty close. All right, so I picked two images and now it's actually gonna generate a pr some uh, pages for us that are actually just kind of a draft. So this is not the final design yet. Um, they are showing us some really nice designs, actually. I would say these are even better looking than the typical templates that you can find. Some of them are premium, um, but even the non-premium ones. So here, for example, uh, I like this one. Uh, let's see which other one I liked here. Let's take a look. Yeah, so I liked uh, this one as well. So I can actually open it up in a new tab. Yeah, so this is just a sneak peek. This is not the actual website yet. But uh, this looks great. So let's go with this one. I'm going to uh, click on this. And here we can still make some final tweaks before the, the AI will get to work. Now we can change the font. So let's actually just play around a little bit. I like that. I actually like the color scheme. I think the green matches well. Yeah, so I think I like all of that. I will continue here. So by default, you will get a blog, uh, page builder, email, contact form i can add other things if i want it's basically going to create like a wordpress instance um, but let's actually start building all right so now here final chance to change something but we are okay here so now it's going to take a couple seconds or so to really let the ai do its magic okay so it's also going to come up with a bunch of text with ai builders you want to pay attention to not only the design but also the whether you can create text and maybe images all right so website is ready let's see what we get and here we go. I don't see anything yet, but they give us a URL here. So let's actually open this up and let's see. Okay, so it is protected. I just have to type okay in here. And then here we go. Here we have our website. So we can see it's using the text and everything here. It's using those images. Uh, of course, we can change that. But overall, I think really, really good. Uh, if I click on the links, the links also work. So yeah, this looks really nice. Um, yeah, actually really, really, really impressed with uh, the design quality. We are getting sort of a WordPress instance here with ZipWP, but I actually want to host it on my own host in the, and I like using Cloudways. So now how do we take this website and port it over to our desired host, in this case, Cloudways? Well, first, let's actually spin up a server here. Um, so here on Cloudways. All right, so we can find the pricing for Cloudways on the website as well. So Cloudways is actually a digital ocean company. Um, so you can pick a server from digital ocean, but you actually also have the option to pick a server from some of these other providers in case you prefer that. Make sure you use the link in the description in case you want to set up a server as well. All right, so then here in the dashboard, I can actually also set up a server. So actually I already had a server running, but let's actually add a server from scratch here. So what kind of server do we want? Do we want, I will just go with the standard WordPress option they have here but you can we can pick some variations as well so if you have a multi-site situation or you want a woocommerce site or you have some php laravel magento app 
all of that works with Cloudways as well. I will go with the default one here though. So I can just call this AI site and I will just call this AI server. And I actually already created a project, so I will leave it like that. So again, we can pick a server from any of these providers. However, I will just stick to the default settings here. We will go with two gigabytes and location is all fine with me. I'm gonna click on launch now and it may take a couple minutes to provision the resources. All right, and after a couple minutes, our server is ready and it will have already installed WordPress for us on that server as well. So this is the server itself. So we can monitor the server, uh, set up all sorts of settings here, but let's actually go to our application on the server, which will be that WordPress instance. So if we go to our applications here, you can see we also have a, an application which will be installed on that server. And here we have the application itself, which is the WordPress instance. So we can see that by default, we get a bunch of settings here that we can configure. But most importantly, we can go to our website, actually our WordPress website right here. Of course, uh, it's just the default, but let's actually go to our admin panel right here. So the credentials are on the dashboard, so we can just uh, copy and paste those. So let me copy this and paste that right here. And also the password, paste that right here. And now I'm gonna log in. All right, so now I'm logged into my WordPress instance hosted on Cloudways. Now, of course, our website right now, if we go there, this is our default. This is just the default you get. But what we want is our nicely designed on here. How do we do that? So if we go to our website here, designed by ZipW, ZipWP, if we, uh, go here actually in the dashboard again. If we go to staging sites, here is our website. It's actually uh, a WordPress site, so we can actually also log in here. So this is the dashboard of Bob's Burger website. And so this is the admin panel of the website we just designed with AI. They actually have an option here to move to host and they have a, a tutorial on how to do that. But let me actually just quickly show you that. So it's a very easy way to just use a plugin actually. We'll just add a new one. And the one that we're gonna use is called uh, WP Vivid. Okay, basically it allows us to create a backup of this AI site. Then we can upload that backup here and restore it with that backup. That's basically how it works. So let's actually install this. It's super fast, like one minute. All right, now it's installed. I'm gonna activate. All right, so here we just wanna create a backup. All right, so don't be intimidated by all the options here. It's just one backup here and that may take a couple seconds. Okay, so after some time, the backup here if I scroll down, it's finished and we can download that backup. So let's actually download the backup here. I will download that zip file. All right, so I downloaded it here on my computer. Now I will go to our Cloudways instance and we will use the same plugin. We'll add a new plugin. It's called WP Vivid. I will install it right here and we will activate it. And now here we just need to upload that backup. So if we scroll down, we also have an option here for upload. So I will click and drag this onto here and we do need to click on upload here again and it will just upload it super fast all right almost finished let's see 100 percent. all right so upload has completed so now uh let's see if i scroll down a little bit here uh here we have our backup that we just uploaded so this time we want to restore from this backup so let's click on restore um it's gonna it will replace all the current uh settings essentially that we already had here right so be careful if you already had a bunch of uh things configured in this case, I just had a fresh install with Cloudways, so I don't care that, that we that we lose that we lose what we have there. I will just restore from here. Okay, should also be pretty fast. All right, restore completed successfully. Let's check it out. All right, so now I need to log in here. So previously the credentials were from Cloudways. However, now we have restored it from that ZipWP website. So we do need to use the credentials that we get from here. So here under sites, I can also get my credentials, login credentials. So I have to use the username here and password. However, we can change it back. I'll show you that as well. So I can use this uh, for now just to log in. Okay, let's see. All right, well, the email is correct, yes. All right, so now I'm logged in here. Now if I go and visit my site, let's take a look. All right, so here I have Bob's Burger hosted on Cloudways and yeah, everything looks just as good if I try to navigate. Everything is working here or now everything is working perfectly fine. All right, that looks great. So if I want, I could now also get rid of this plugin if I don't want it or I can use it to keep making backups. So this is nice and it's a really fast way of creating an AI site and quickly get it up and running uh, on the internet uh, for free actually of course you do have to pay for hosting but uh, the design itself is uh, for free so that's really slick now one thing I don't like is that we now have this weird login credentials so let's actually see how we can change that as well so let me close this so this is our 
AI side. So if we go to users, all users, you can see that we have this one user now. That's also the one that we're logged in right now. And this is going from zipwp. And this is currently the only user and it's an administrator. Now we can simply create a new user and also make that user an administrator. So let's actually create a new user. So username, I would like to use the uh, credentials that I already had with Cloudways. So I would like to use my email actually here, here as well. I can add a name if I want. And then I want to use the same password that Cloudways gave me here. So I will actually just paste that right here. Of course, don't show it to anyone else. I will delete it after recording. I don't need to email, but I do want to make this user an administrator. So this is important. Now, if you try this, unfortunately, this uh, this will not work because the other user actually is also using that email. So I will actually use a different email for now, but my username will still stay the same. I just have a di temporarily different uh, email. Um, okay, so I do need to copy the password here again. Still an administrator. Okay, add this new user. Let's see if that works. All right, so now we have two users. Now I want to get rid of this one. However, I'm logged in as that one, so that's not going to work. So now we need to log out and log in as this user. Okay, so I will log out here. So now I will try to log in again with the uh, Cloudways credentials. So let's actually see if that works. Let's see, log in. All right, so now I'm logged in. Let's go to users, all users. All right, so now I will try to delete this one or just click on delete here. Now, if you already have a user with content, maybe they have some posts, do we want to delete everything? Probably not. We just want to assign it to that new user. All right, so now I'm the only user left here. So now if I want, I can also change that email back. Right, so here um, it still has this email. If I want, I could change it back to this one. Okay, but I will actually leave it for now. So now we have our WordPress site designed by AI. We have an easy way to log in here and we have it hosted on a very powerful server supplied by Cloudways. Right, so Cloudways has many benefits. I have other videos with Cloudways as well. We can have a staging environment. So if you quickly wanna make some changes and test it before you push it to production, we can manage our domains, we can add we can work with SSL here, cron jobs. We can work with Cloudflare here for uh, CDN perhaps or some image optimization. And of course, if I want, I can add multiple applications to the same server. And so I actually just have one application running on the server right now, but maybe you wanna have multiple WordPress instances running on the same server. Depending on your resources, that should also be possible. In any case, I hope it was helpful. Make sure to check out Cloudways for hosting your WordPress website. I wanna thank Cloudways for sponsoring this video. I wanna thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.